Excuse me. Hello, Mr. Overman. How did you know my name? You're a member now, sir. It's my business to know all our members. All right. Can I go in now? Certainly. But you're in for a disappointment. How come? It looks smart with the lights turned low. But in daylight, it's a flipping toilet. Never mind. The big guy's sacks are spilling their contents. It's a little man carrying a log. Just for a second, you scared me. But you're only dummies. The mourners were apparently... They're not human. Someone's been making androids. There aren't any markings on it. Or locks. It's a morgue. You don't look so healthy. You should get out in the sunshine. This place is spooky. Oh no. Not her. Not Anita. Her skin is burnt and blistered. She appears to have been exposed to radiation. There aren't any markings. He doesn't have any eyelashes. Yo, that's horrible. 
She appears to have been exposed to radiation. There could be something useful in there. Wouldn't you know it, it's locked. Okay. Back up to the reactor. Presumably he needs hacking tools and stuff will be in there. And because I have the appropriate permissions, I can get a rad suit. This is crappy! I feel better taking all of Lamb's permissions and That explains... It obviously doesn't open manually. an ID card, minus the security logo. There's a small... Might be old. The teddy bear sweatshirt is a nice touch. It, it, it does kind of like oh, it's wearing the, the cyberpunk leather trench coat and all those sorts of stuff. Excuse me. Never mind.
different. speed slider option. It's particularly useful considering that I've got a... that I'm backtracking again. Excuse me. See you later.
Know where I'd find the old subway? Nah, I've never heard of it. I thought all boys were into railways. Get real? What planet are you on? Sometimes I wonder. Tell me about your dandelion game. Ah, it's brilliant. You get chased by these giant yellow weeds. You mean dandelions are yellow? The gardener told me they were blue. He's mad. He's not a real gardener. How'd you know the gardener is a fake? He's got green fingers. That's the sign of a naturally talented gardener. I saw him dipping them in the paint. Anyway, the plants are made of plastic. Uh -huh. You're a real help, Vincent. No problem, Rob. Don't wear out your thumbs. Good news is this is a PC game, my thumbs are fine. Excuse me. You told me dandelions were blue. Did I? Well, what of it? This boy assures me they're yellow. Ugh, smart ass little brat. Alright, you got me sussed. I haven't had any formal training. But I've always dreamed of being a gardener. I love them. Every little shrub and succulent. Succulents spread their seeds all over the place. Those dainty blossoms waving their little stamens in the breeze. All right, I get the point. You won't report me, will you? Why should I do that? Excuse me. Do you know a girl called Anita? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Why do you want to know? She's been murdered. I found her body in the cathedral. Can't see why you're telling me. Excuse me. What's your name? It's Eduardo. Why? You're Anita's contact, right? How come you know so much? He said... She left a message on her card. Listen, do you know what's happened to Link? I'm totally confused. Link is a living, self-replicating organism. Originally, it served as an advisor to the Council. But it has gradually taken control. How? And why? We're really not sure. Hobart scientists have developed a virus. It will check Link's growth. If we can get it into the system. Will you give me the virus? I can't. It's been downloaded to Link space. Anita was supposed to retrieve it since she had a Shreveman port. So have I. I owe it to Anita to get that virus. No chance. It's bound to be guarded. I can try at least. Okay. Excuse me. Any other dialogue I can get with Eduardo? Nope. See you later. Alright, with that, I'm going to call this a stream. Um, I've been streaming for two and a half hours, pretty much. Next time, we're going, we will set out to get the virus and avenge Anita's death. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.